Tonight, Blue Valley School District held some similar discussions. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens shows us some of the solutions you could see starting next school year. Grant. Dia, if this story feels familiar, it is. Like Independence and Olathe and all those other districts before it, Blue Valley has to cut bus routes. Tonight, the board voted to eliminate more than 700 paid rides for middle and high school students. That totals 10 full bus routes. They hope the move will reduce the number of drivers the district needs and ideally will make the remaining rides much more consistent. It's the big problem nearly all the school districts in our area are facing. There's just no bus drivers. We don't have any subs. We don't have anybody jumping in who can do, so they have to get kids to school. I mean, that's our number one priority is to get kids to and from school. The board discussed other options like more pay, but even that may not be a full solution. We're paying as high or higher than anybody, so we're, we're pulling that lever hard. I just, I know t 10 does help. I'm just like 10 helped earlier this year, but this, this is a, uh, continue will be tough. Everybody is struggling to find drivers. Because of the shortage, the district has seen a huge increase in late drop-offs or late pickups, and it's had to cut field trips. We can't just do nothing at this point. Um, it's, not, it's not a popular thing to do to get rid of these, this pay rider program, but I think we have. I don't think we have a choice. I understand they're in a difficult situation, but at the end of the day, we still got kids that need to get to school, and that's a problem. It's been too inconsistent, and ultimately, they voted for something they believe will make it better, even if it's still not the best. It's bad if we do, and it's bad if we don't. And I think it's a question of what's the least of, of two bad options. These changes go into effect this upcoming fall, and as you heard there, some of the board members voiced some concerns with the company that provides these rides, Durham School Services. Durham's contract with the district goes for the next two years, but as they discussed in the board meeting tonight, because all of these other companies are having the same issues, going for a new company might not be a great solution either, and it certainly wouldn't be fast enough for the upcoming school year. Live in Overland Park, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.